Hey everyone, I know it's been forever since I was able to do, since I've been able to do a YouTube video, but um, today I was tagged in a video that um, it was made, uh, it was low carb lasagna, so they basically used meat as the base of it, like for the noodle, and it was topped with ricotta cheese and spinach and pasta sauce and some cheese, of course, mozzarella. So I'm gonna do that today this is my own version i never follow directions so um to my meat base um i think they just added like salt and pepper if i'm not mistaken i'm not gonna do that i add, well of course i added salt and pepper i also added some italian seasoning and parsley garlic powder because i just like to season stuff with with those spices i use those every day so i have my meat already mixed and I have it in a 13 by 9, I believe, cooking sheet. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is the meat. Um, it's all mixed together. And I put it in this baking sheet. I'm going to bake this at 350 for about uh, 15 minutes. And then we'll start putting everything else Okay, together. so here I have the ricotta cheese. I just use, uh, I don't measure because that's just not me. Not about that life. Um, so I have this ricotta. I put the whole container because I'm going to make a pretty big one. Um, I put some parsley in there in the video. They didn't add parsley, I don't think. But again, I use my own seasonings because that's just me. Um, I put some pepper and I have some um, pink, Himal uh, pink Himalayan pinks. Pink Himalayan salt. Um, so I'm going to mix all this together. And I have egg yolk. So I'm going to mix all this together. And this is going to go the lasagna so i'm gonna mix this together and put this to the side okay so a little update i know it's been forever since i've been a, i've done a video and should be told i'm just i've just been busy with life um so a couple major things have happened in my life i have a new career now and um yeah, so I'm still keto. Um, my ketoversary was, I believe, the middle of October. Um, I want to say like the 19th or something. Um, total weight loss is probably, uh, and I'm so horrible, but it's been 92 pounds. Slow but steady. There was a few times I kind of fell off the wagon, had too many margaritas, but we won't talk about that right now. We won't talk about that. Um, but uh, so still keto, still low, still low carb. Uh, I keep my meal so simple these days uh, just because I just need simple and quick. Uh, so today I'm going to make this lasagna with the meat base um, and uh, let's see how it turns out. It looked really, really good in the video that I was tagged in today uh, by my friend. And um, like I said, I never follow the recipe. This is my own version of it. Adding a few extra things to it because that's just me. So let's get this going okay so i just pulled the meat out of the oven now it, it covered the whole pan but since we know there's a lot of fat in ground beef so it kind of shrunk a little bit which is fine it was expected um so i'm just gonna let this cool off and um then start putting it together so um we're ready to put this together i hope you guys can see me i know the lighting is kind of bad here um okay so the meat is done um, and this is how it looks. Um, we're gonna, in the video they cut it in fours. I don't know what the point of that was. It's like an extra step. I'm just gonna kind of, okay, so first I'm gonna get this baking dish. And I have some marinara that I made here. And I'm gonna put some, just a little bit, at the bottom of the pan. Just kind of spread it out. We do that so that it doesn't, even like with regular lasagna, a carby lasagna. Okay, so I just added a little bit like that. And I'm gonna just transfer this meat. Let's see, it might, you know what, it might not fit. I might have to cut it a little bit, just the edges. So I'm gonna just trim it a little bit. It smells so good, this meat. Like with all the spices, it smells really, really good. Okay, so that looks like it's gonna fit. So I'm just gonna transfer this and perfect okay okay so so this is the first layer let's get rid of this okay 
So now, also, I forgot to add that in the ricotta cheese I put about, <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna say maybe half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I threw it inside there. Okay, so let's start putting it together. So now on top, I'm gonna add the ricotta cheese. And like I said, guys, I don't measure anything. I never do. I used to work, excuse me, my allergies, and it's winter here, so. Um, and the restaurant I used to work at, um, I never measured anything. I used to work at an Italian restaurant. If you're in Chicago, you should go check out Tuscan Head Markets and Irving Park and Damon. Amazing food, amazing owner. Okay, so I'm just adding this ricotta. I'm not going to even use all of it because it's a lot. Okay, so that's there. And now I'm going to add the spinach. Get a fork. I hope you guys, I hope this is recording and I hope you can see me through all this. Okay, so this is about two hand, about three handfuls of spinach. Now this is probably gonna last me a few days. I'm gonna take it to lunch next week. So here's the spinach. I'm just kind of spreading it out. I wish I would've had nutmeg. Nutmeg with spinach would really be good right now, but I don't have it. Okay, so that's how it looks so far. And then now I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese. You know, my son, I sent him in there to get mozzarella cheese, and of course he got the part skim mozzarella cheese. No, don't do part skim. Just cheating yourself. Just, just letting it out. So, I'm going to add this. I don't know. I'm adding about, I don't know, about three handfuls. Three and a half, maybe. Okay, so it's ready. I'm going to just put this in the oven until everything gets nice and bubbly and then we'll be ready to eat so you know i'm just adding a little bit more a <laughs> little bit more because i'm just extra like that so i'm gonna throw this in the oven i have the oven at 350 so i'm gonna put this in there i think it's probably gonna be like 15 minutes okay so i'm back i realized something i made a little bit of a boo-boo but no biggie there's no rules. Um, so I forgot to add more marinara sauce to my lasagna. So this is what I'm gonna do. I could have a couple choices. I could take all this mozzarella off and kind of just add some marinara to it. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take off a little bit of it. And I'm just gonna put the marinara on top of the spinach. And that's fine, that's fine. I mean, it's all gonna meld together anyway. So. Just gonna add some marinara here. And the marinara that I make, it's just uh, crushed tomatoes, um, a carrot, some onion, garlic, um, some fresh basil, and parsley. Salt and pepper, of course. Um, if you guys want a video on how I make marinara, just uh, leave it in the comment section, let me know. Okay, so see what I did? All I did was just add some marinara sauce to it. I can't believe I forgot that step. You know what? It's all right. Like I said, there's no rules. And now I'm just going to top it with mozzarella cheese. And I know I was missing something, but I couldn't really think of what I was missing. Uh, so I'm going to add more cheese on top. Not too much. This is going to be so filling and hearty, so you're not going to need that big of a piece. Um, so yeah, so now it's ready for the oven. I can't believe I made that mistake, but hey. It's okay. There's no rules. It's, like I said, it's all gonna melt together anyway. Okay, so, guys, let's so I just took it out of the oven a few minutes ago. I'm gonna let it cool off before I even cut into it. Uh, it smells. It smells amazing. Um, so let's give it a few and uh, cut into it and see how this bad boy tastes. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. I mean, there's meat. There is marinara. There is mozzarella cheese, ricotta. All that goodness. So um, let's let this cool off. So yeah. Okay, so it is all done. I cut a piece. It's a little, little messy. A very little bit, but hey, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna eat this right now, and I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Like I said, I didn't follow any recipe. I mean, I got the basic recipe from Facebook, but I just altered it a little bit with my own spices and stuff. So um, 
yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video um i'm gonna try and be consistent and add some more because i really like doing this i just never have the time so if you guys have any questions always just leave a comment down below um uh, if you guys want a video on how i make marinara just let me know um and i will do a video on that it's really really simple really really easy really fresh ingredients it's not um anybody can do it uh so everybody have a great day thank you for watching and be blessed